Hey everybody, it's JD from over here. I am making another video. This video is actually going to be about your PHP settings. Uh, why I'm making this video? Mostly because I actually have been struggling with this for like the last five minutes and I forgot that there's actually a way you can do this um, through other methods. So that way, if you've noticed that you'll be coding your websites and you actually will make a code when it comes to your PHP settings and sometimes you might not be able to see your error messages so you'll really are going through trying to figure out what exactly you did wrong all those different types of things when practically it could be a setting that you could actually change in your PHP settings in the background so that we can actually see the errors so that you can fix them um, one of the things that I actually had was doing all uh, last night was actually editing my code uh, this is a lot of my back code because I created this, this landing page for this train that actually has started posting on my YouTube channel and it got a lot of hits and just really just been trying to get the the people's emails of course so that way they can get the information that I'm trying to provide to them which would be more like which would be the video that I actually want them to see it's like a 40 minute video but this way they can actually get to see that through my emails so um, when I, while I was setting this up I noticed that the emails for one weren't really showing up and I, after a few edits, I started getting them just to come in. So I started actually testing them out on my other email addresses and started coming in. But then I also had the issue of them not showing me the error messages as far as why certain certain errors would show up and others won't. So, for example, let me go ahead and show you what I mean. Like, for example, if I fill this out just to fill it out, and I always use an actual email so I can make sure I get that test done, and I click show me the video. Now, usually, you should see this type of message right here but sometimes you might get it to where it doesn't show at all so and what I've actually had been seeing was um, this page isn't working this link isn't showing up those types of things and they can't process the request so that would kind of frustrate me so when I get this it lets me know exactly what it is that I actually had did wrong what I need to fix so that way it won't give me this error message anymore and my page can go through as it should more specifically based on how I put my code in so a way that you can actually fix that is going through your cPanel okay we should all have a cPanel account if you have a web host if you have your own web host um, with whoever it is because I even have a free web host company that you can um, sign up with and I can also sh give you some codes for that um, but this is a web hosting company that I use the web host web hosting buzz and they're about twenty dollars for like so up to 200 accounts so I use them and what you would do in your control panel you will look for your PHP settings okay so you will actually go through and go scroll down until you see your PHP version right here select PHP version we'll click on that and then you'll of course select your current PHP version mine is 5.6 then you want to go through switch to PHP options now this is where you'll actually be able to show if your display errors are showing up. Like right now, they're showing up. So if I had this off, it wouldn't show anything at all. So it says this. You look for display errors. Click here and make sure that it says on, so that you can see. If it's off, it'll look like this. Let me see. It's gonna show it like I want, just for the sake of the video. Come back here, refresh this page. <laughs> Also, go back to this one to see if this is going to show up like I want it to, just, just for the purpose of the video. Switch. It should say off. It's off. So now, if I go back and try to test this out, it'll say this. This is the error's message you don't want. So, to make sure that you get that back right, come back up here click on apply and save and of course I'll go back and double check to make sure that it's actually showing on because I, I really want it on obviously click PHP version just to double check make sure that it's switched on and it's switched on see that display errors switched on and then it which also keep in mind you can also check out different things in here too like your error reporting your error log all different types of things and a maximum you can also fix your upload max file size so like right now I got it set to this which is pretty good because that's the megabytes um, which I might end up changing that depending so we'll see 
But as of right now, this is for just display errors. Then I'll come back up here, go here, refresh, test this out. Now my error shows. So, and then I'll just go back and, just, and see how to fix this error, which is not going to be an issue at all because now I know what to do. So that's pretty much it. I uh, just want to show you guys how to fix that for yourselves, and when you, especially when you're working with your PHP uh, files. So if you have any questions about anything, make sure that you comment under the video. If this video helped you out, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Thank you.